So let's maybe talk about the business model of Google. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest ways they make money is by showing ads yeah. as part of the 10 links. So uh, can you maybe explain your understanding of that business model and why that uh, doesn't work for perplexity? Yeah. So before I explain the Google AdWords model, uh, let me start with a caveat that the company Google, or, or called Alphabet, makes money from so many other things. And so just because the ad model is under risk doesn't mean the company is under risk. Um, like for example, Sundar announced that Google Cloud and YouTube together are on a $100 billion annual recurring rate right now. So that alone should qualify Google as a trillion dollar company if you use a 10X multiplier and all that. Mm -hmm. So the company is not under any risk even if the search advertising revenue stops delivering. Now, so let me explain the search advertising revenue part next. So the way Google makes money is it has the search engine. It's a great platform. It's the largest real estate of the internet where the most traffic is recorded per day. And there are a bunch of AdWords. You can actually go and look at this product called adwords.google.com mm -hmm. where you get for certain AdWords what's the search frequency per word and you are bidding for your link to be ranked as high as possible for searches related to those AdWords. So the amazing thing is any click that you got through that bid, uh, Google tells you that you got it through them. And if you get a good ROI in terms of conversions, like what are, people make more purchases on your site through the Google referral, then you're gonna spend more for bidding against that word. And the price for each ad word is based on a bidding system, an auction system, so it's dynamic. So that way, the margins are high. By the way, it's brilliant. Ad it's it's is the brilliant. greatest business model in the last 50 years. It's a great invention. It's a really, really brilliant invention. Everything in, in the early days of Google, throughout like the first 10 years of Google, they were just firing on all cylinders. Actually, to be to be very fair, this model was first conceived by uh, Overture. Mm -hmm. And Google innovated a small change in the bidding system, which made it even more mathematically robust. I, I mean, we can go into the details later, but the main pro part is that they identified a great idea being done by somebody else and really mapped it well onto like a search platform that was continually growing. And the amazing thing is they benefit from all other advertising done on the internet everywhere else. So you came to know about a brand through traditional CPM advertising. There is just view-based advertising. But then you went to Google to actually make the purchase. Mm -hmm. So they still benefit from it. So the brand awareness might have been created somewhere else, but the actual transaction happens through them because of the click. And therefore they get to claim that you know, you you bought the, the the transaction on your site happened through their referral, and then so you end up having to pay for it. But I'm sure there's also a lot of interesting details about how to make that product great. Like for example, when I look at the sponsored links that Google provides, mm -hmm. I'm not seeing crappy stuff. Like, yeah, I'm seeing good sponsor. Like it, I actually often click on it. Yeah, because it's usually a really good link. And I don't have this dirty feeling like I'm clicking on a sponsor. And usually in other places, I would have that feeling like a sponsor is trying to trick me into. Right. There's a reason for that. Uh, let's say you're, you're typing shoes and you see the ads. Uh, it's usually the good brands that are showing up as sponsored. But it's also because the good brands are the ones who have a lot of money and they pay the most for the for corresponding ad word. And it's more a competition between those brands like Nike, Adidas, Allbirds, mm -hmm. Brooks, are all like Under Armour all competing with each other for that ad word. And so it's not like you're gonna, go, it's, people overestimate like how important it is to make that one brand decision on the shoe. Like most of the shoes are pretty good at the top level. Um, and, uh, and often you buy based on what your friends are wearing and things like that. But Google benefits regardless of how you make your decision. But it's, it's not obvious to me that that would be the result of the system, of this bidding system. Like it, I could see that scammy 
companies might be able to get to the top through money, just buy their way to the top. There must be other- There are, there are ways that Google prevents that by tracking in general how many visits you get mm -hmm. and also making sure that like if you don't actually rank high on regular search results, but you're just paying for the cost per click, mm -hmm. then you can be downloaded. So there are there are like many signals. It's not just like one number, I pay super high for that word and like I just can the results. But it can happen if you're like pretty systematic about it. There are people who literally study this, mm -hmm. SEO and uh, SEM, and like like you know get a lot of data of like so many different user queries from you know ad blockers and things like that, and then use that to like gain their site, use a specific words. It's like a whole industry. Yeah, it's a whole industry, and parts of that industry that's very data driven, which is where Google sits is uh, the part that I admire. A lot of mm -hmm. parts of that industry is not data-driven, like more traditional, mm -hmm. even like podcast advertisements. They're not very data-driven, which I really don't like. So I, I admire Google's like innovation in AdSense mm -hmm. that like to make it really data-driven, make it so that the ads are not distracting mm -hmm. the user experience, that they're part of the user experience and make it uh, enjoyable to the degree that ads can be enjoyable. Yeah. But anyway, that, the entirety of the system that you just mentioned, there's a huge amount of people that visit Google. Correct. There's this giant flow of queries that's happening and you have to serve all of those links. You have to uh, connect all the pages that have been indexed and you have to integrate somehow the ads in there, yep. showing the things that, the ads are shown in a way that maximizes the likelihood that they click on it, but also minimizes the chance that they get pissed off yeah, from the experience, all of that. And it's, it's a fascinating, gigantic system. It's it's a lot of constraints, a lot of objective functions, simultaneously optimized. 